Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm building uh, my inlays for the left side of the drawer cabinet and it's a two-part series. Um, I'm going to clean up some of this mess that you see right here and uh, once that is uh, done I think we'll have a very nice result. At least that's my, my hope. But uh, let's get into it and see how we can progress. So I have these pieces from the other project. They are the same width as the other ones. I need to make 16.7. So that's two. I'll make another one as well. And 138. Yeah. So this will be sufficient for what I need. And then they have to be 11 centimeters. So that works as well. So basically what I'm gonna do is to cut them to length. And then see if we can make something that works. So cut them to 11. 38, 11, 16, 16, 16, 16, 11 as well. And my little repair attempt didn't work, so, so this is just scrap, but that's fine. It will turn out nice, I'm pretty sure. Perfect. My experience that uh, I have to measure like extremely precisely using a, um, a ruler uh, to, to to get this uh, measured so it's uh, exactly precise. And uh, if I don't do it, it's uh, yeah, everything is uh, yeah not lining up as it's supposed to do. And that's uh, that's that's kind of annoying. But uh, I guess that's how it is. Probably if you get a uh, cast iron saw something like that then it's uh, maybe a little more uh, precise but uh, i find that this uh, bush which i'm in theory very happy with and uh, and i think cuts very well even though i need some new blades um, i think that uh, it's it's a, a, a sufficient saw for the level of expertise that i have at least at the moment and uh, uh, the things i've done with that so far i'm, I'm actually pretty happy with that but um, I'm just trying to line everything up, cut thing to, uh, cut uh, my different stock here to to length, and then uh, have uh, uh, some stock to 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 build from, and um, that's that's kind of the the progress I'm I'm going for, yeah. And I just sped things up so that it was a little more, you know. Uh, nice for the eyes to, to have a look at that and uh, I think that uh, um, all in all it, it turned out very good. I'm, I'm trying to be as precise as possible. matter of uh, checking out and see how my at least roughly cut to length strips are lining up and uh, that's a, a little uh, adjustment that I need to make but it's uh, all in all uh, pretty pretty close and here you can see as well that uh, it's actually uh, fitting fairly nicely I need to just take a, a little smidge off of the end and then it will uh, fit um, like a rock. I guess that's not what it's called. It's probably something else. Like a glove. <laughs> yeah, okay, like a glove.
it's uh, a matter of uh, doing these precise measurements so I can just uh, sneak up onto it so it uh, will fit exactly into the uh, drawer. But um, I'm just taking my time and uh, making sure things, everything happens uh, in a nice, nice fashion, orderly fashion. Okay, so just making a test piece. This is also here where I realized that my concentration look or face is looking like I'm, I'm mad at the tape router. Uh, to me it looks a little uh, strange. Rest assured I'm not angry at anybody, but uh, it just looked strange. And yeah, I'm uh, again struggling or daunting my um, my sled or my uh, router sled that I've made. Uh, I've made a new one and uh, will probably be used in the future, but but this is what I'm checking for to see if it right. Yeah, and they fit nicely in here. Test, I think that's pretty good. I would not say that I'm confident that it will just work from now, but I think I just have to go for it. struggling with my jig or my uh, router sled um, I have a very hard time hanging on to the piece and it's uh, very uh, restricted going through uh, um, the router and uh, it's such a pain because it uh, it makes the process uh, very very annoying actually um, it is okay because I've figured out how to do it, but uh, eventually I ended up changing the sled to a much more uh, say, uh, friction free system that uh, that was um, yeah, turned out to be way better than than, than, uh, than this you're seeing right here, but um, whatever you will see in the future. I'm very pleased with that. Okay, I'm very happy with that. I just need to do some tweaking and then we'll figure it out. So it's actually kind of funny going through this video, seeing how many times I'm very happy with that. Uh, I, <laughs> I am happy with it and um, I'm, I'm pleased with how it looks, but uh, it's in a condensed video like this, it, it's just a weird thing that I say all the time, apparently. But here we can see something that I am content with and that is the fitment of the cabinets or the inlays here. I think they turned out very nice with a nice fit.
here. I'm preparing for the first glue up, and uh, I have these uh, angle uh, devices that is uh, help me to contain everything in place, and I'm pretty heavy with those. It's not the it's not my best purchase, I would say, but um, but they are they are they're decent and they help uh, everything uh, be, being kept in place. The first just were able to hold on to it, but uh, but that's um, yeah that's on my side. I would say that's not the tool's fault, but uh, they're doing the job and uh, and here you can just see that uh, it's kept in place and it's uh, in a nice 90 degree angle. just set it to dry and then I will continue with the finish and tweakings later. So this is the result. Feels pretty good. That's a tight fit. And then it's just off to sanding and uh, start fitting the rest of the uh, pieces that you see right here.
this was what I was left with, and uh, it turned out square, and it turned out uh, as I hoped. And uh, now I just have to set it to dry, and uh, then it will be part of a bigger assembly that you will see in part two that is coming up. See you in the next one.